So I'm first going to show you how this application behaves at runtime. So this application has uh, two flows in it, and in one of the flow, flow one, we have two pages. And when we click on go to page two, we go to page two in flow one, uh, we can click back to go to page one in flow one. Uh, there's also this menu item that allows me to navigate to flow two. So when I click on it, I go to um, page one in flow two. And if I click here, I go to flow one and page one. So that's the basic behavior of the application. Now, what this demo is about is ability to show a unsaved changes message. So let's say I made some changes in page one. Now, when I try to go to page two, I'm going to get this pop-up that tells me, are you sure you want to leave? Let's say I don't want, I'm not sure I want to leave. Maybe I still need to do some changes or save them. By the way, if I also click on flow two, I'll get the same behavior. Okay. However, if I click and I say, I'm okay to leave, then when I click on go to page two, I would navigate to page two. Okay. And let's go navigate back and again, make some changes and click here and say, yeah, I want to go here and I go and then it navigates. So basically the idea here is how do I show up this pop-up once I make changes that prevents me from leaving without actually doing some activity like saving the changes before that. So here's the solution. So here's our application. And um, at the application level, I have one uh, variable. Uh, it's a Boolean variable called show leaving warning. Okay, and it's a Boolean which starts with false, and we'll be referencing it from various places in our application. Then we have our application with the pages inside the flows, like that. Now, most of the work is actually done on the shell page, which is the page that contains our um, navigation menu. And those navigation clicks are basically just events, uh, they have events that go and navigate to the specific flows. Okay. One thing I added to the shell page here is this dialog. Okay, this dialog has a heading that um, says, are you sure you want to leave? And two buttons, one says yes, one says no. Okay, and I can also show you this in the code. Um, you can see our um, dialog over here. It's called save dialog. That's the ID. And then we have the text and the two buttons. And each button has an action chain associated with it. Okay. So if you click on this button, for example, and you look at the event, this is the dialog yes button. And this one would be dialog no button. So this is the design of the page. Um, now in uh, the shell page, the other thing I did is I added an event. The event is a before exit event. So this event is going to be invoked each time that you leave a page inside this, that is working in the, inside this shell. And let's look at the logic here uh, in this action chain. So what we do here is we check the application level variable that is called show leave window, show leave warning. If it's set to false, we just basically return success. So basically we don't need to show the leave warning. But if it's set to two, we do need to show the warning. So we used this call component method over here. And uh, in here, we're calling the component called save dialog. This is our dialog, warning dialog, and we invoke the open method on it. Okay, so this would open the method. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to stop the navigation from happening. So before we exit the page, we need to prevent the navigation. This is the tricky part. Um, this is done by returning a specific a payload, which is a variable that I have defined in this chain. Okay, so if we go to the chain variable, you can see I have a variable, um, I called it shouldn't exit, it's an object type variable. And inside the object, I have one Boolean field, which is called canceled. Note that it has two L's here, and it's set to two. Now this is uh, specifically, you need to have this name and this value. 
So basically what we're returning over here is we're returning an object that says cancel the navigation. Okay. So again, this is returned in this scenario. And this stops the navigation from happening. Okay, so now all we have to do is basically set um, the two buttons on the dialog to do things, right? So on the shell, we had two button, the yes button, okay, basically I want to leave, goes over and assign a value to the show leave warning and it assigned it to false, so don't show the leave warning anymore, okay? And then it also uses a component method to close the dialog. The no button, okay, um, similarly, just goes over and close the dialog, still keeping the uh, warning variable as is. Okay. And then in each page where I want to invoke this save changes, for example, we did it over here in the main start page, in this button that is called made changes, all I need to do in the event here is, for example, to set the show leave warning to be true. Okay. Now again, this is completely in your control. You can do it, for example, when someone changes a value in a field or when someone even enters a page or any other event that you see fit to turn on this warning. And once this warning is on, when you're trying to leave the page, we're going to pop up the dialog. And unless you click no, we're going to fail the navigation. And that's basically how this behavior over here of this application works. Again, um, try to go, we return a cancel navigation, show you this message, okay? If you click and you do want to leave, we set the application level variable to false, and then we allow you to leave the page. That's it.